Stewart, mainly Vandas. Hope everybody's doing well today. So I'm gonna go over the topic of crown rot and how to determine if your plant has crown rot, how to prevent it, and what steps you can do to uh, cure it. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a couple of examples of crown rot and then an example of how I fixed crown rot and how exactly I did fix it. Uh, this is probably going to be a very controversial among many um, growers, uh, the method that I use, but let me tell you, I have used this many, many times, and it works, um, in my opinion. This is my opinion, um, and, and I'm just letting you guys know what's worked for me. So uh, here's, here's a Vanda, a, a big Vanda. I mean, this is a big, big Vanda. Uh, I was doing some inspections on my plants and just determined that this plant does in fact have crown rot. Um, so you know if you see down in the crown in there, there is black, okay? There's black down in there. And uh, there's that new leaf right here is not green, that's black. So I mean, uh, it's very mushy, it's, um, I can see some green down in there, but not much. Um, I mean, I can try to peel this away and show you guys the green, but um, there is some in there. See, there's a little bit of green right down in there. So this plant hasn't fully all the way gotten crown rot. I could, I could probably save this plant. If I didn't see any green down in there and I was able to actually pull this out, then your plant has definitely got the crown rot and you're going to start seeing a lot of kikis and babies down at the base or, uh, or up here somewhere uh, because this plant's going to say, uh oh, I'm dying at the top. I need to, you know, shoot out more, more growth. Um, so here's, uh, here's another example. This one might be a little, little far gone here. Um, as you can see, there's, well, it's hard to see, I guess right there, but um, it's a little dark, I guess, but right, right there, I mean, you can see that black right there. Okay, there we go. So this one I could probably, I could, well, I thought maybe I could pull that out. Well, look at there, I see some, some green growth down in there. Um, so we might be able to save this one too. Well, no, there it is. Okay, so that is an example of crown rot that's already happened. Um, you're not gonna save this plant now. Uh, you're not gonna be able to save the top of the plant, I guess I should say. Uh, so um, I would, I will in the future see babies come out at the base of this plant, hopefully. Um, so the top is, is no longer viable. Uh, so you, you don't even try to do this method that I'm gonna do if you're able to pull out the top. Uh, it should come out pretty easily uh, if it does have crown rot all the way. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my method that I've used. And um, well, for, well, actually, I'll first I'll show you the plant that that the method that uh, I used has 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 done well. So here we go. Okay, this is a very large vanda, guys. Okay, and uh, so you can see right here where the crown rot was. Okay. You can see right here where the new growth is. So this plant got saved, okay? And let me tell you, I have saved many plants like this, okay? Um, yeah, it's gonna have a couple leaves that are ruined right here, but that's okay. It's not that big of a deal, okay? It's just a cosmetic thing. So the method that I use, and like I said, it's gonna be pretty controversial to a lot of people, is cinnamon okay I use cinnamon on this I use it for when I actually I, I top an orchid you've seen in my videos where I top an orchid I'll put cinnamon on the cut and or I'll put it in the crown uh, this prevents any type of fungal spreading um, within the crown or, or any type of disease or anything like that it basically cures the cut um, it'll stop it'll stop moisture and stuff like that so, I mean, this is as simple as it gets, folks. I'm going to go ahead and, and 
just to stop some of the moisture uh, in this in this Vanda, I'm gonna go ahead and, and put some in the one that I pulled the top out of anyway, regardless. But I mean, it's just as simple as putting some cinnamon in there. That's it. Okay. So we'll do the other one here. And this one I'm, I'm hopefully gonna be able to save. Uh, if not, you know, it's not it's not the end of the world. These things are, are we'll put kikis out at the base. So um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna put some cinnamon in there. Make sure I, I get it down in there. Okay, make sure the cinnamon's gone down in there. And and you know, and I'll I'll also make sure that that this plant will um, kind of it'll still get watered. Okay, but I'm gonna put it to the side where it might not get so much water on the crown. Um, just in the meantime, until until hopefully this plant will will. Um, you know, grow out of the top again and, and stop with the, the rot. So um, I'm gonna make sure that, you know, the, the water's not just pouring into the top of the crown. Um, that's basically is what, what has happened with these plants is maybe it's sitting under a, a sprinkler head or something like that, or uh, you're not getting enough air circulation. Um, you know, that's just gonna happen with these plants. Uh, they're susceptible to it. It's very, very common amongst pandas, um, you know, it's just the way it is. It's, you know, it is what it is type of thing. You know, don't fret over it if you get it. Um, you know, yeah, you're you might lose a plant here and there with it. Uh, so don't don't be too too upset. There's plenty of plants out there. Um, so you know, I'm hoping that that this uh, tutorial will will kind of help you guys along the way. Um, you know, just just be diligent in and looking at your plants. Um, you know, I'm out here basically every day looking at my plants, making sure that, you know, I don't see things like crown rot or, or, if, and when I do, I fix it immediately. You know, I just found these, I said, Oh, let me do a video on it. Um, so, you know, just, just make sure you're going through your plants guys. Um, you know, make sure every, everything's okay. Everything looks okay. You know, if you see anything out of the ordinary, ask questions. Um, you know, set that plant aside for right now if you can't deal with it right now. Get it out of your collection. Uh, so, uh, if you have any questions or any concerns or, you know, you you like this video, I uh, would appreciate you subscribe to the channel, like the video, uh, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.